you would think that the choice would be an obvious, logical decision, but honestly, since woman have woman been logical? <laughs> so the lady decided that she would put these two men to the test. And so she went out one morning, and she went out to the fields and joined them as they were working. And along came the rich suitor, and he saw her in the fields, and he was appalled. He leapt off his horse. He came running to her side, saying, My lady, my lady, what are you doing? You're out here in the fields, you're getting dirt on your fine shoes, you're getting dirt on your fine clothes, you're running your hands. Oh my goodness, I have lots of money. Let me hire plenty of people to do this work for you. <laughs> and the lady said nothing, and eventually he grew tired of his tirade and left. Now along came the poor suitor, and when he saw the lady in the field, he went out there and came behind her, working alongside her, so that her burden would be lighter. And there they remained until the end of the day. Now the lady decided a few weeks later that she would put them to the test again. And so she went out, she disguised herself as a beggar, and she sat outside the city gate. And along came the rich suitor. And he saw the lady, and he was appalled. He jumped off the horse, saying, oh my goodness, my lady, what are you doing? I can give you fine clothes, I can give you gems, I can give you riches, why are you here? And the lady made no reply, and eventually he grew tired of his tirade, and off he went. And then came the poor suitor. And when he saw the lady, he came and he sat beside her. And they sat there in silence for the rest of the day in the gutter. Now, time came when the lady had to make her decision. And she chose the poor suitor. And when the rich suitor heard of this, he was once again appalled. And he came flying to her. And he said, my lady, my lady, I have riches. I have power. Why would you choose this poor man over me? And she said, it is because when I was a laborer in the field, he came and stayed with me. And when I was a beggar and getting better, he came and he sat by me. When I am old, will you stay with me? When I am crippled, will you stay with me? Now, get you out of my hall and do not come here again. That's my story.